Hey everybody, this is Laddie the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Cur um, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. In the last part, we ended up after the second level of uh, Ice Cream Island here. And if you guys will give me a moment, I'm actually going to get some more 1-ups real quick. Well, that was bad. I didn't get any 1-ups from that. Alright, let's move on. Ooh, we're gonna get a really rare ability in here. But to get it, we need sword. Go in the door, Kirby. Come on. There we go. This enemy is called UFO. It gives the rare UFO ability. I think... I think this is the ability with the most attacks in the game. It has four. If you just press B, you use a beam. Pretty much identical to the beam ability. You hold it down for a little bit and let go. You fire a small laser, akin to the laser ability. We haven't seen it yet. You hold it down for a little bit longer, you fire a medium-sized laser. Nothing really special there. If you hold it down really long, you fire a big blast, which can actually destroy metal blocks. And go through walls, too. The only downside to UFO Kirby is that now UFO Kirby cannot climb ladders. So I can't go down here. These are the Meta Knights. You will consistently find these throughout varying levels. These are actually pretty tricky if you don't have a power. And as soon as I say that, I'm actually going to do this flawlessly. Wow. Ooh, Peppy Tonic, I need that. Goal! Made it! Next. Oh, we get the museum. What's in here? I haven't shown this one yet. This is Laser Ball. If you suck up Laser Ball, you get laser! You just fire a little laser like that. Although, as the description did say, it will bounce off hillsides. That's right, laser also has a fire aspect to it, so it can burn ropes. Or fuses. You'll, you'll, we'll get into that later when we find a cannon, but... Hmm... Oh, here's an ability I haven't shown off yet. Uh, this is Rocky. You suck up a Rocky, you get stone. Stone? You're completely invincible while you're in rock form. However, your only attack is that, so it's advisable that you jump before doing it. And for this guy, you don't really need a power. Ah. And he 
gives you the mic ability. As far as I'm aware, he's the only way to get it in this game. Mic is really nice. Because it's like Crash, only you can use it three times. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of Mike. Excuse me a second. Alright. Suck up laser ball, get laser. Now whenever you see a slanted surface like that, laser will bounce off of it. Arena. I'll get into that later. Let's go in here first. Actually, I actually think I may need Parasol, but... Um, there's a, yeah, Petitonic over there, but I don't need it. Ooh, I will need Wheel, though. Hey! These are normal wheelies, by the way. Alright. Nope, didn't think so. You can't jump with wheel in this game. Alright, what you need wheel for is down here. Just remember you're charging forward invincibly, so you can pass through a Gordo. That was not you that was not worth it at all. Oh, also! Interesting little thing they put into the game, they actually follow physics. Since Kirby's full of air when he's floating, he'll just kinda float on top of water or flip through it if he flies into a waterfall. And actually, that thing has an ability that I haven't shown you yet. That is a naughty. I'm actually going to go around just so I can show you. Assuming I don't get shot. Okay. When you swallow a naughty, you get the most useful ability ever! Sleep! You cannot move at all while you're sleeping, so generally it's advisable to avoid naughties when you see them. Alright, we need a particular ability here. It's not sword. It's burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use wheel here to break these blocks, but seeing as how there's bottomless pits everywhere, not advisable. Hurry, dang it. I need a maximum tomato. I'll take cutter. Cutter's better than parasol. Alright, here's a new ability. Uh, I believe these are called Starmen. You suck them up, you get high jump. You're invincible while you're doing the chart while you're doing the jump itself. And there's a pepitonic over there. You can angle your jump as you see. This will be key for a boss fight later. Go in the door, Kirby. There we go. Ooh! Whenever you see a Poppy Brothers Jr. riding a Maxim Tomato, you want to suck it up. If you uh, try attacking it with a copy ability, you'll destroy the Maxim Tomato. So. Wow, three perfects in a row. Alright, there's 
the boss over there, but I want to show you guys what the arena is first. You can fight a boss. This is generally like a museum of sorts, where you can get abilities that you can only get from bosses. This really isn't a good case, because you can get freeze from a normal enemy later, but... And when you beat the boss, you get a max and tomato. So if you need to get health before a boss fight, you can do that. I'm actually going to go into this boss without a power. And uh, this is a warp star station. You can use it to travel between levels you've already cleared. Right now we only have this in Vegetable Valley, so... Let's go fight the boss! Say hello to Paint Roller! He will draw pictures, and those pictures can give you copy abilities which you can use to fight him. There's one. In, there's actually two in particular I'm waiting for him to draw. Waddle Dees don't give anything. Those clouds give spark. That gives parasol, if you could guess. The car gives wheel. Now this gives an ability we haven't seen yet, so I'm not going to swallow it. Spark again. Parasol? Come on, there's one in particular- there's actually two that he can do. I'll take either or. Okay, if it takes too much longer, I'm just going to cut to when he draws it. There it is, that's one of them. You swallow it, you get Mike. He can also draw a bomb, which if you suck it up will give you a crash. So... Now we move on to level 3, Butter Building. But we'll explore Butter Building in the next episode. I'm Landed the Outcast, and I'll see you guys later.